As a lifelong Bears fan, it is an honor to be here to celebrate the Bears' commitment to remaining the Chicago Bears. Now at 5.30, the Bears announced their plans for a new stadium along the lakefront. The team plans to pay for about half of this new development, but they are looking to taxpayers to help cover the costs. Publicly funding professional stadiums is a contentious issue, a thorny one for politicians who have to prioritize the use of taxes for public good. And WGN's Mike Lowe is joining us now in studio with a look at one recent example of how voters reacted when they were asked to support these pro stadiums. And good evening to both of you. The Bears are asking... Uh, for more than $2 billion in public money to fund the proposed $4.6 billion stadium project. With the Sox also looking for public financing of a new stadium, there is a recent example that may tell us where public sentiment is on stadium funding. This affords us the opportunity to be able to bring this all together. Both the Bears and the White Sox are seeking public funding for new stadium projects at the same time. We are not, I repeat, not looking at any additional tax buckets for this project. It's similar to the situation in Kansas City, where this month voters rejected a sales tax measure. Not even close, though, tonight. 58% of the Jackson County voters voting no. That would have helped to fund a new downtown ballpark for the Royals, along with major renovations to Arrowhead Stadium for the Chiefs. Reaction across the region tonight about the future for both the Chiefs and the Royals. If the uh, Super Bowl champion uh, Kansas City Chiefs can't get the people of their area to uh, authorize the building of a new stadium, I don't really think that the people of uh, Chicago or across Illinois uh, feel any different than they do. Former Illinois Governor Pat Quinn says the question of using public money should be put to the voters. The voters with good common sense in Kansas City said no. And the same thing should happen here in Chicago. Give us a chance to vote at the ballot box on whether or not this proposed stadium for the Bears, this billion dollar boondoggle, should be allowed to happen. The score is Chicago Sports. At 670, the score. Your precious football team isn't going anywhere. Chicago's top sports talk radio station. Things come in massively over budget, and it's always on the taxpayer to, to make up those shortfalls. Host Dan Bernstein says the Kansas City situation should be a warning to Chicago politicians. I hope it's predictive, and I certainly understand that we have a governor of this state at the moment with much higher political aspirations who has a pretty good sense of the direction of the winds right now. A recent study published in the Journal of Economic Surveys looked at 130 stadium projects and found that the fiscal returns for residents are far smaller than the public expenditures. The money ends up making billionaires richer at the expense of people who actually need these taxpayer dollars for things, so many things that are much more important. And to put this all in perspective, the Bears are proposing a $4.6 billion stadium. If it were to be built, it would be the second most expensive stadium ever built behind only SoFi Stadium, which cost an estimated $5 billion, but was paid for all with private money. Mm -hmm. Have the Bears looked at private money? The Bears are using some private yeah. money. Uh, it's, it's possible they could try and get some other investors, but they're looking to the public mm -hmm. first, and that's what they announced yeah. today, especially for the infrastructure part. And I think that's one of the keys to putting it on the lakefront is making it a public stadium. Yeah, and attractive, yeah. too. Appreciate attractive. the context. Thanks, Mike. Yep.